Hello everybody, so Kyle Thero here, walking back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. In this video, I'm going to be working on the Chevy Caprice. Um, I'm not going to do what I did in my last recording, which is like go over this or do the suspension and the engine. We're just going to kind of do one or the other. In this case, we're going to do the engine and as I said before, I'll be selling cars. I'm not going to sell the Caprice. I am going to sell this though, this uh, Jaguar looking thing. It's a Sakura GT20, and uh, if you didn't catch the last video, we did start it up to give it a good sound check here. That way you guys can hear it. And you may be wondering why the Overking slash Crown Vic is down here. Uh, reason for it is my Evo is still here as well, but... The Caprice comes with a police livery on it, which looks pretty cool. I don't know if I like the like the chrome instead of white, but beggars can't be choosers, and I'm digging the way that that looks. Um, let me open the hood there. So as you see, it's pretty much put together with the exception of the engine. The engine is completely out of this thing right now. So on this car, we're going to be doing the engine on it. I've already done the wheel alignment. Obviously, I've already painted it. I've cleaned up the car. Um, I got everything done. The only thing that's left is the engine work. And I have the engine on a stand, or a stand, on the engine stand over here. So we're going to, whoops, and to do that. We're going to start putting it together right now. I don't think I have all the parts for it. I definitely know I don't have pistons for it, so we're not going to do that. And apparently, I don't have that. Or that, and probably not that either. Yep. <laughs> Whoops. There is a... Uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to need on this thing. So let's go ahead and get our shopping list together here. So, as you see, the last thing I was doing was uh, license plates. Uh, I need an alternator. So we can get rid of that. And then over here, I need a power steering pump. I need a water pump. Don't need the alternator and I need the oil filter. And we also need pistons and piston rings. Let's see, where are they at? Probably need rod caps too. If not, you can always use them. I think it's a V8. I don't remember what uh, engine this is. Yeah, it's a V8, okay. I'll we'll throw that on. I'll we'll throw this on. Our Steering pump, get the water pump on, there's a, oh, there we go, I was missing a screw, and an alternator, well, let's be real, I'm always missing a screw, I always got a screw loose, alright, so, filter's on, or I need to buy a filter, go ahead and get the pistons and rings and piston rods all together here. Yeah, I don't know if I have those or not. If I do, so be it. You can always use them, like I said. It's one of those parts that you're always going to need regardless. There we go. I guess you could say the same about the pistons and rings, but at the same time, sometimes I like to do the performance upgrade stuff, like with the Evo. I am... Um, did all the high quality stuff and then I did the uh, performance upgrade stuff too on it so that way I could uh, have the best of the best for it. I kind of took a hiatus from this game after I did the Evo not just because of the fact that my um, PC died like this was the last of the series that I wanted to record as far as which games and it's actually like turning into the second or third to last. The reason being is that Evo 10 kind of burned me out and I'll tell you why. The The main reason it did was because the car, it, it it was taken apart and put back together uh, twice. Actually, it was taken apart and put back together multiple times, if you think about it. I took that car apart. I basically bought all the parts you needed for it. And then, oh, and I just took that off the list. And then after I bought all the parts for it, I had to upgrade them and then I had to put them on and see which ones were the uh, quality ones whoops so it was just it was a lot of back and forth with it oops I don't need that anymore 
We need that. There we go. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still suffering from my uh, winter allergy, so if you hear me cough, that's the reason why. I do apologize. I try not to, but unfortunately, when you got the urge, you got the urge. And unfortunately, I get the urge more frequently when I uh, talk more, so. Kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm trying to do with the channel here, with narration. <coughs> Ugh. So yeah, not COVID. I know a lot of people assume I have COVID. That's not the case. It's just allergies. Been diagnosed by a professional. That is exactly what I have. Man, I... Speaking of have, though, I don't have parts for this thing. This must have came out of the junkyard and not the, um... Not a barn find. Oh, I just bought something I didn't need. I need two of those. I need four of these, I think. Let's see, where's the thing I don't need? There it is. Because I already have the engine head. And I bought too many camshafts. But you know what? I can. Uh, I probably won't use those again, to be honest. <coughs> Unless <coughs> there's another model that uses this. But I'm thinking it's kind of limited to just this car, but we'll see. Yep, definitely something I won't have. And that will be something I don't have either. Get rid of that. I gotta get better at uh, taking off the stuff that I buy. But, like, I don't have that on there, and I buy it again. Oh, this is interesting. It's like two pieces, but you only buy one. Okay, and then let's put the exhaust on. Exhaust manifold, rather. Man, that was fast. That camera positioning I had must have been just perfect. Um, Trying to get down here, though. There we go. Trying to get under it. Go and put that on, and there we go. Okay, that's done. We need to. Uh, I'm so used to it being on the car. I wish that was in the same spot. I don't like how they did that. Probably need the other one too, and I'm gonna need this. Oh, it's a different timing chain. Okay, I'm glad I didn't just assume it was the same one. Ah, see, got me again. That's just going to be a thing I can tell already. Alright, there we go. Now it's just the cover, which I don't have. Yeah, I don't have a lot of the parts for this thing. It must have came from the junkyard. And if I remember right, it was caked in a lot of dirt, so... It probably was from the junkyard. Alright, we got that. Got that. And that. This looks like it's going to be a bunch of idle rollers and belts and whatnot that I'm going to be doing here next on there. Let's say get the last bolts in. Jeez, lots of bolts on this piece. Where? Okay, there it is. Wow, there was a lot on that one. Okay. And I do have to get spark plugs. I don't know if it uses ignition coils. I'm assuming it does. Based on uh, the positioning of it and the size of the spark plug things. Yeah, it's probably not. And I don't see an ignition distributor, so. It's probably just spark plugs and ignition coils. So we need eight of these. And we need eight of these. Let's see if I was right. Yep. Okay. I know this game a little bit. Just a little bit. 
All right, this side's done. I'm gonna need that. Ah, it's that. I know this game, and then I don't know that part. We're gonna need two of those. Yep, it looks like... I was gonna say, it looks like something goes up there. That's where the throttle goes, okay. Put the throttle on. Still need to get that. I hate these things, they're always tormenting me. They don't even sit on the car correctly, but they're there. At least they don't look like it. It just kind of floats there in the air. And I'm like, man, why would uh, Red Dot do that with this game? But it is what it is. All right, let's put the fuel rail on. And then we gotta get this fuel pump. Let's get rid of this. Fuel pump, where you at? Or not fuel pump, uh, fuel filter. That's what we're looking for. There we go. Looks like we need an idle roller B, the one thing I... Whoops. One thing I didn't buy a lot of in the last time I was buying parts. Leave that open for now, because I might need more. I think idle roller B serves as a... a same thing as idle roller A, except if it's not attached to a uh, actual piece of like a backing, like this uh, this cover here. Like if it's not on the cover, it needs to be idle roller B. Oh, okay, I got that done. Um, oh, and then we got the transmission part of this we got to do. So let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. I need the flywheel. I'm sure the I salvage the uh, plate. I usually always get lucky and I can salvage this. Yep. I don't know why that's a thing in this game. It, typically with um, transmissions, the thing you salvage is the uh, is the flywheel. Maybe it's that too. I don't know. But I think that's everything for the engine. We're gonna go ahead and take off the engine. We're going to drop it in our caprice here, uh, or what's it called, a bolt cape? Yeah, bolt cape. Uh, oh, there it is. Engine stand moved. Alright, let's drop the engine in. And we got to pick it up and get the transmission in it and the drive shaft, and I think we're done. I don't have a drive shaft, I know that for sure. The transmission was lost in destruction, okay. So we got the transmission now, and we got a drive shaft. There we go. Since it's a uh, rear wheel drive car, I already know I'm going to need that drive shaft. Oh, and we're going to need a starter too. Damn it. I don't have that. I don't, it's using the V8. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, starter V8. Need that, kinda needed to start the car. And I'm clipping through the wheel well. There we go. Oh, I guess I did have a drive shaft. Oh well, now I got an extra one for when I get come across one that doesn't have it or if it's just extremely damaged. Um, taking a look at the car, it looks like... Oh, I missed some fuse panels, apparently. Or fuse stuff. I thought I had finished that. I guess I forgot to do that. Well, it looks like we're doing that next. Um... Oh, they're up here. Oh, I don't even think I took off the old one. No, I didn't. I left this on the car. Whoops. All these stupid relays and everything. All right. Well, we still got that to do. Guess you guys will get to see me fix a few parts. Oh, geez. Okay, just one part then. I didn't even notice it. It was tucked up here in this corner. I'm just blending in. All right, so we got that. And now we need our fuses. So we need two A's, two B's, and one C. Two A's, two B's, and one C. 
And then for the relays, we need two A's, two B's, and four C's. Wow, that's a lot. All right, so we need two A's, two B's, and four C's. All right, and then I'm probably going to need the cover for it, too, since I didn't see a cover on it. And I hadn't touched the fuse panel yet, so go ahead and do this part. Forgot that one. There we go. Yep, I need the cover, which that's easy because there's only two and pretty easy to tell based on the shape. Okay, now we should be good. Yeah, 100% on everything there. 100% on everything there. Factory color was blue. I painted it black. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it the way that I did with the last video, but. We bought it for $5,288, so yeah, it definitely came from the junkyard. Uh, based on the restoration, we put, we're put we going to make $56,680, and we could sell it for $61,968. However, I will not be selling this car. Whoops, I need to leave that open. I actually need to fill these up first. I'm going to be keeping this car because it's going to go with my police car collection I have there with the uh, Crown Vic that's outside, or the Over King in air quotations there. All right, so we got coolant, but we got to top off all the fluids real quick, and then it'll be ready to start up. <clears throat> I really have been enjoying this game with the great updates they've been giving to it. It's going from uh, 2018 to this. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of similarities, but there's also a lot of changes and um, updates to the game that make it that much more better over its uh, predecessor. I must say. All right, that's good. Where's the brake? Yeah. <clears throat> Might as well do this, too. Since it's got a max fill line. The oil, you can't really tell. You just got to judge it by when you tilt it back like that. All right. And I think I just got the oil, and that's it. <clears throat> So yeah, if you ever wonder how I know how much oil to put in, this is what I do. I just pour it, and then when it tilts like this, I count like two or three seconds, and then I'm done. Don't like to see it spill over there like you're overfilling it. But I think that's everything under the hood for fluids, coolant, windshield wiper, power steering, brakes, and oil. Yep, I think so. Go ahead and close our hood. Um, based on what I walked away with in the last episode, I think I spent about $30,000 on this car out of my pocket. So that's not too bad considering I'm going to keep the car. So let's go ahead and move it outside and then we can take a cool photo of it next to the other one. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and actually, you know what, let's go ahead and sell this car and then we'll start that one up. So this is the car that, I don't know why it's pictured in red, that must just be a default picture because it was green and I kept it the same green. But this is the car that we're going to be selling today. Um, we bought it for 7903 so it came out of the junkyard too, I want to say. It tells you actually here, yep, junkyard. And uh, we're going to be selling it for $66,852 so that will give us a profit of 58949 So we're going to go ahead and sell that. And it's gone. I already took a picture of it, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this one, too. And if you guys were ever curious how I get my thumbnails, this is how I do it. Um, I'll change my height a little bit. And then I want the field of view to be a lot better there. I'm going to cut off part of it. There we go. And as you see, I did black wheels, too, because I wanted it to uh, have its original wheels on it. But let's go ahead and start it up and listen to it here. Sounds good. That sounds pretty good. Um, I don't know if the V8's the same in this as this. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's the same exact motor. Okay. So, that'll be an interesting race when we get to that point. We'll, uh, we'll race the two and see how they do. It'll be based on 
vehicle body weight and whatnot, I guess, at that point. This one should probably lose, I would assume, anyways, because it's a lot older. And, uh, it looks a lot heavier than the Crown Vic. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And until next time, take care.